Imagine a world where your Uber shows up with no driver. Tesla's robot taxis are here, but what happens to the drivers? Jobs are disappearing fast. Are you really ready for this future? Subscribe to Mir's Product Hub and see how automation could change everything. Picture this. You call for a ride, and instead of a driver pulling up, you're greeting by a robot. No small talk, no tip, just a smooth, silent ride. It sounds like the future, right? But while you're enjoying the convenience, there is a big question hanging in the air. What happens to the millions of drivers who rely on these jobs? Tesla's robot taxi is at the forefront of this automation wave, promising to revolutionize the way we travel. But let's be real, while the tech is exciting, the impact on jobs is massive. According to a 2023 McKinsey and Company report, over 800,000 transportation jobs are at risk of being displaced by automation within the next decade. That's not just a statistic, it's real people. Imagine millions of drivers, from Uber to delivery services, suddenly finding themselves without work. One of Tesla's biggest competitors expanded its fleet of driverless cars in San Francisco in 2023. Within just six months, local ride hailing services saw a 12% drop in demand. That's a huge disruption, and we're only at the start of this automation wave. But it's not jobs that are affected. The technology isn't flawless. In August 2023, during a robot taxi trial in San Francisco, multiple vehicles stalled in the middle of busy intersections, leaving passengers stranded. Technicians had to be called in, and some customers even had to push the vehicles out of the way. It's a reminder that why automation is exciting, it still has some serious kinks to work out. In Forex, where Vimo launched its autonomous fleet in early 2023, traditional taxi services reported a 30% drop in demand within the first year. This isn't just about convenience. It's a major disruption to local economies that rely on these jobs. And while robot taxis sound convenient, it's all fun and game until your self-driving Uber decides to take a nap. And suddenly, you're the one doing the driving, or worse, pushing it down the street. We are heading towards a future where more and more jobs are being replaced by machines. The question is, are we ready for it? How many of us could be affected? And more importantly, can robots really handle the pressure of driving without needing a little human help now and then? So here's the question. Would you trust a robot taxi with your life, or are you sticking with a human driver for now. Let me know in the comments and if you are finding the topics as fascinating as I am, hit that button. So what's better than a robot taxi? How about a robot van that delivers your packages without a driver? Convenient, right? But hold on, what happens to all the delivery drivers? It's not just about faster deliveries, it's about millions of jobs. Tesla's robot vans are designed to take over deliveries, everything from your Amazon packages to your groceries. But let's take a moment to think about the bigger picture. Delivery drivers make up a large chunk of the workforce. According to a 2023 report by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, there are over 1.5 million delivery drivers in the US alone. Now imagine how many of those jobs could be replaced by a robot on the wheels. In 2023, Amazon expanded its fleet of automation delivery vehicles in Los Angeles. Within just six months, the pilot phase resulted in the displacement of 15% of the delivery drivers in the area. And it doesn't stop at vans. Robotic deliveries is spreading to drones and autonomous carts. Companies like Starship Technologies are rolling out delivery robots on college campuses. And while it sounds cool, what happens to all those people whose livelihood depends on making these deliveries? In 2023, Amazon's pilot program for autonomous delivery vehicles in Los Angeles led to a 15% reduction in delivery driver positions. This is just the beginning of a shift in the logistic industry. So while your pizza might show up quicker, it could mean fewer jobs for people. The only thing worse than a late delivery is no job at all. Imagine waiting for a robot van to deliver your food and it decides to take a detour. Great, now the robots are driving slower than humans. Robot vans might save companies money, but 
at what cost? The real question is whether we are ready for a world where even the delivery guy is replaced by a machine. What happens when there is no one left to deliver your package except a fleet of silent robots? Alright, we've talked about robot taxis and robot vans, but let's take it up a notch. Meet Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot. Yep, a robot that could one day walk, talk, and work like a human. But here's the kicker. If it's doing all that, where does that leave us? Optimus has been built to handle all sorts of tasks, everything from warehouse work to assisting with daily chores. Imagine having a personal robot to take care of your laundry or fetch your groceries. But with robots like Optimus entering the workforce, we have to ask, what jobs are safe? According to a 2023 report from the International Federation of Robots, over 15 million jobs in the U.S. online involve manual labor. And robots like Optimus could perform many of these tasks faster, longer, and cheaper than humans. Take Boston Dynamics, for instance. Their humanoid robots are already performing complex tasks like running and carrying heavy objects. Sure, it's impressive, but it also shows how many physical jobs could be at risk in the near future. Now let's look at some real-world examples. In 2023, Walmart conducted a pilot study using robots in their warehouses. The result? They increased the efficiency by 25%, but significantly reduced the need for human workers in several departments. In 2023, pilot study by Walmart showed that their warehouse increased efficiency by 25% using robotic automation, reducing the need for human workers in multiple departments. Imagine Optimus folding your laundry faster than you could ever dream. But what if it also starts doing your job? Now you've got a robot with better work ethic than you. Time to update your resume, unless robots are hiring too. As robots get smarter and more capable, it's not just manual labor at risk. The real question is, where do humans fit in? Could the future with robots mean fewer opportunities for us, or is there a way to coexist and thrive alongside them? We've seen robots take over driving, deliveries, and even warehouse work. But there's one thing they can replace, right? The human touch. Or can they? Let's dig into where automation really has what it takes to replace human entirely. While robots are great at repetitive things, there is something uniquely human about creativity, empathy, and problem solving. A machine can handle the complexity of emotions or instinctively come up with a groundbreaking idea. Or can they? According to a 2023 McKinsey report, AI tools like ChatGPT and DeepMind's AlphaFold have already outperformed humans in certain complex tasks like medical diagnosis and even predicting protein structures of diseases. In a 2023 study conducted by the Harvard Medical School, AI-assisted diagnoses were found to be 15% more accurate than human doctors in detecting certain early-age cancers. That's impressive, but it raises the question, how far will this technology go? But let's be real. There are still areas where robots fall short. A robot can convert a patient in a hospital or negotiate a tricky business deal. Yet, with the rise of AI in sectors like customer service, even jobs that require human interactions are being automated. A 2023 McKinsey report estimates that 800 million jobs globally could be lost to automation by 2030. In Japan, nursing homes have started using Pepper, a humanoid robot to keep elderly residents company. While it's a fascinating use of technology, a 2023 study by the University of Tokyo showed that 80% of the residents still preferred human interactions over Pepper's companionship. Sure, robots can do a lot, but can they really hold a conversation over a cup of coffee or give you a pep talk when you're having a bad day? Imagine a robot trying to give dating advice. You're 94% compatible based on your shared interests in everything. We've entered a new era where machines can do incredible things. But the question remains, can they really replace us? Or are they just tools to help us become more efficient? It's not just about tasks, it's about heart. So what do you think? 
Should the space exploration be a public mission led by government agencies like NASA or should private companies like SpaceX take the lead? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're curious about the future of space and technology, hit that subscribe button to stay updated. We've been talking about the rise of robots, but this isn't just a futuristic idea. It's happening right now. Entire cities and countries are already feeling the effects of automation. So how is it really playing out and what can we learn from them? Take Detroit, for example. Once the heart of America's other industry, automation in car manufacturing has drastically reduced the need for human workers. In fact, in a 2023 report by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics showed that Detroit lost over 50,000 manufacturing jobs between 2010 and 2023 due to automation. It's a stark reminder that automation doesn't just create efficiencies. It displaces real people. Globally, South Korea leads in robot density, with 855 robots per 10,000 workers in manufacturing as of 2023, according to the International Federation of Robotics. Why this boots efficiency? It also creates a workforce crisis in traditional sectors. But there is another side to this story. Germany, one of the leaders in industrial automation, has taken a different approach. They've embraced automation while investing heavily in reskilling programs for their workers. As a result, they've managed to keep unemployment low while increasing productivity. According to a 2023 study by the European Commission, Germany's reskilling program helped reduce unemployment by 12% between 2020 and 2023. In Japan, factories now use over 300,000 industrial robots, helping the country address its declining workforce. A 2023 study by the Japan Institute of Labor found that although jobs in traditional manufacturing sectors decreased, workers were shifted into more creative roles and industries that can't be automated. Can you imagine living in a city where most jobs are done by robots? It's all good until you're a company with a machine for promotion. Next thing you know, your new boss is a robot telling you you're 10 seconds late again. As automation spreads, we are seeing mixed results. Some cities are thriving with the new technology while others are struggling to adapt. The question is which path will we take? Will we end up like Detroit or Germany? It's up to us to find a balance. Alright, let's get to the money question. How will full automation impact the economy? Sure, robots can save companies a lot, but what happens when millions of people are out of job? Let's break it down. On one hand, automation can boost productivity and save businesses billions. For example, companies like Amazon and Walmart have saved millions by automating their warehouses. A 2023 report by the American Automation Association estimates that companies using warehouse automation saved an average of 50 million annually in labor costs. However, the flip side is equally stark. Oxford Economics predicts that 20 million jobs worldwide will be lost to automation by 2030, with manufacturing being hit the hardest. And with fewer people working, there is a real concern about what happens to consumer spending, which drives most economies. McKinsey 2023 Global Automation Report points out that with reduced wages, the economy could slow down as fewer people are able to buy products or pay rent. In other words, while companies get more efficient, there could be fewer buyers in the marketplace. A 2023 study in China showed that automation in manufacturing saved companies over 30 billion annually. However, it also displayed 10 million workers in just five years. The study conducted by the China National Bureau of Statistics revealed that while some of these workers found new rules, many ended up unemployed. Imagine robots doing all the work, and you're left scrolling job boards, only to see hiring robot maintenance technicians, humans not to apply. What's next? Robots paying taxes while you're stuck waiting for unemployment checks? As automation ramps up, the economy could look very different. More efficiency, sure, but at what cost? The big question is, how do we ensure everyone benefits from the rise of the robots, and not just the ones at the top? 
We've talked a lot about robots in the workforce, but how do we actually strike a balance between humans and machines? Is it even possible to ensure robots don't completely take over, or are we already headed in that direction? The key to a future where humans and robots coexist is simple regulations. Without a strong policies in place, the risk of full automation replacing jobs becomes very real. According to a 2023 World Economic Forum report, by 2030, 50% of the current job tasks could be automated without intervention. That's a staggering shift, and it demands thoughtful regulation. Countries like Germany have already implemented strict automation regulations. A 2023 study by the European Automation Institute revealed that by limiting automation in specific industries such as healthcare and education, Germany was able to maintain one of the lowest unemployment rates in Europe at 5.2%. In fact, industries that combine automation with regulatory framework could actually create more jobs. According to McKinsey 2023 Global Automation Report, automation when balanced with reskilling programs has the potential to generate 12 million new jobs globally by 2030. Look at South Korea, where strict policies dictate how and when robots can be used in manufacturing. As of 2023, South Korea maintains one of the world's highest robot density while also keeping unemployment low through education and reskilling programs. According to a 2023 report by the Korean Ministry of Employment and Labor, automation in manufacturing has increased by 25%, but human employment in high skill industries has raised by 15%. Imagine robots running everything, with no regulations in place. You might wake up one day to find that robots has taken over your morning coffee routine and your job. That's not the kind of future we want, right? Without proper regulations, the robot takeover could become more reality than fiction. But with the smart policies in place, we can ensure that humans and robots work together in harmony. The question is, are we prepared to create the right laws to protect both jobs and innovation? So what do you think? Should be there a stricter regulations on robots in the workforce? Let me know in the comments. And if this conversation had you thinking, hit subscribe to dive into more future-focused topics.